Once again, another year has almost ended, so here are my top five games of 2014. At five, it's South Park The Stick of Truth. Finally, a game has been released that's worthy of this very long-running cartoon comedy. Kind of like a light role-playing game and faithfully recreated in the 2D style of the cartoon, you must journey around the town of South Park and regain power of the stick of truth in your very own role-playing game, within the game, so to speak. With turn-based combat, exploration and a ton of laughs, it's a must-have for any South Park fan. At number 4, it's Mario Kart 8 on the Wii U. What a lot of numbers. Playable for the first time in full HD, it's more of what you expect from a Mario Kart game. It's super smooth, features a roster of new and classic tracks and multiplayer, so you can take on your friends and randoms around the world and knock them off the track with your red shells. At 3, it's Far Cry 4. Some people aren't happy it's basically more of the same, but for me, that's not a bad thing at all. Exploring the beautiful world of Kirat is a joy, especially when there's exciting combat, loads of locations and secrets to discover, and all that wildlife to hunt and run away from. This one will keep you busy for a very long time if you're a completist. At number two, it's Alien Isolation. Putting the survival back into survival horror, this is one of the most tense games I have ever played. As you attempt to stay alive whilst being stalked by a xenomorph, and also being a fair target for other humans and synthetics. Play with headphones on, and I'm sure it's one of the most scary experiences you'll have on your console. And at number one, it's a surprise entry, Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor. For me, this came out of nowhere, and is the only game I've actually bothered to complete 100% this year. A perfect mix of all the best bits from the Assassin's Creed and the Arkham games, there's something very Moorish about roaming the land of Mordor killing orcs and saving villagers. The supernatural wraith powers also add an extra edge to this game that's sure to spawn a sequel. Well, that's my top five games of the year. Remember, I haven't played everything and it's personal opinion, so if you'd care to share your thoughts, make sure you leave a comment. Merry Christmas, everyone.